Okay, we're gonna try launch mode. Ready? Three. I bet it looks disgusting on camera. Two. It's like a deep growl. One. Let's go. Okay, let's go, Mercedes. Oh. Sorry, Mercedes. I'm sorry for ruining your rims. Auto manufacturers, do it like this. The gauntlet has been thrown down by Mercedes. This is my favorite electric car that I've ever driven. And if you don't like that, then you can about a year and a half ago, I found my dream electric car. It was the Mercedes EQS, and I was all the way in Tokyo looking at it. Well, today I'm one step closer to my dream. Today I'm at the Manhattan Mercedes-Benz, and no, this beautiful G-Wagon is not the dream car of mine, although I wouldn't mind having this in my garage. Today we're going to test drive the pre-production Mercedes EQS. I'm one of the first and only people in America that get to drive this thing. It hasn't even been announced yet in America, and they're gonna give me this car to drive around for six hours. This is it, the Mercedes-Benz EQS pre-production, as close to production as possible. And the first thing that we've got to point out is check out the doors. All four doors are automatic and the trunk. They open and close. I know that might seem like a small thing to some of you, but my wife drives a Tesla Model X and it's the only Tesla that has automatic doors and she refuses to drive my Model S or any other electric car because she loves this feature so much. So, honey, just so you know, I know I say this is my dream car, but maybe this is your dream car. There's hot stone massage inside of the seats. So, already, I think this is gonna be my wife's next car. So when I get in the car and I put my foot on the brake, the door will shut all by itself. All right, it's time to go out on the street. Nobody is going to know that this is a top secret car that the world has not seen until the premiere in a few weeks. The camouflage is good, but it's not that much camouflage. It's pretty clear this is a different Mercedes. Okay. Let's hit the road, test this thing out. Here we go. Just from driving it around the block, I can tell you this is the smoothest car I've ever ridden in, no joke. It is so smooth. Like people used to say it's like riding in a Cadillac because Cadillacs back in the 80s were so smooth and like soft as you hit bumps and everything. The suspension on this thing is insane and all I did was drove around the block. So now, what are we going to do to test this car? The last time that I was in New York City was with my long range Tesla Model S. At the time it had the longest range of any Tesla out there, 404 miles range. Philadelphia is 90 miles away from Manhattan, so I thought we would do a range test and just drive this thing, get a Philly cheesesteak. I've heard they're amazing in Philly and there's a place called Geno's that's supposed to be the best. Right now it says we have 383 miles range. I have five years of experience driving six different electric cars, so the engineers at Mercedes Benz really want to get my feedback on what I think about the car, so we're gonna test this real world. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Navigate to Gino's Stakes. Please select from the following locations. Where do you want to go? This one. Let's go. Okay, let's go Mercedes, I agree. We're not gonna charge, we're just gonna go there. If we have to charge, we will, but I don't wanna charge. Gosh, look at the camera. You see that? It's showing the road. Now turn left onto 10th Avenue. And it's showing me where to turn with the arrows on here. All right, this is the future. Congrats, Mercedes Benz. I've only driven not even a half a block. You did it. You've done amazing things. Mercedes ever. Whoa, 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 buy it. Buy it. <laughs> Doesn't come out yet. It is so smooth. It's the S Class. The giant screen. There's three screens built into it. This one you can watch movies on. Really? What? Yeah. Get this, Leslie. The doors are all automatic. Open and shut. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Heated seats, hot stone uh, massage. We're getting it. Okay, okay. See you guys. Love you.
So right now I have it in sport mode where you're on the freeway. Listen what happens when you step on it. That rumbles. It rumbles like an actual gas car, which is definitely something that you miss when you drive an electric car. If you're used to going fast and you're used to accelerating and like hearing the rumble of the machine, you just don't get that. It's kind of cool. I mean, if you don't like that, then you can turn it off and it doesn't do that. Okay, we've made it into Philly. There's Pat's King Steaks right there. It's supposed to be really good. And then we've got Gino Steaks. And there's, I don't know what the parking's gonna be like here. I'm excited, I've never had one of these before. Philly parking is not an easy thing. Oh. That didn't sound good. Dang. Sorry, Mercedes. Okay, so the parking is terrible. So we're parking like half a mile down the road at some grocery store called Acme Beer and Wine. Seems safe. I don't want to park this thing on those crazy tight roads. We'll just walk a little bit. We got to walk off the cheesesteak. Also Mercedes. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I know that they're going to be doing this for other people over the next few days. I'm sorry for ruining your rims. I feel conflicted because the line at the King of Steaks place, Pat's King of Steaks, is a lot longer than the line at Gino's Steaks. I'm just gonna try one of each. When in Philly, I guess. This is so big, first taste. This is the way. This is good. This is definitely not like any cheesesteak I've ever had anywhere else. I get it, Philly. I bet it looks disgusting on camera right now. Like, nobody wants to look at this on camera, but believe me, it is good. And from what I understand, super healthy and fat-free. We do have to get the car back to New York, to Manhattan by 6 p.m. And I don't know what traffic's gonna be like. I wanna go over and get in that other line. Okay, first off, the bread is definitely not as soft. It's a little harder than the other place. It's so windy out here. All right, with onions, with cheese. I need a minute for a full opinion. Pats versus Geno's. I don't know if that's even a battle that's been waged before. I would imagine it is because they're so close to each other. All right, we gotta get back to Manhattan because the clock is ticking. But in my professional opinion, when it comes to food, Geno's is way better. I like the way that they cut the meat and put the meat on there. The cheese was evenly distributed where the cheese on this was like in one section. This is more like cut up into small steak pieces. Uh, the bread was harder to bite through. That one was like fresh and soft. Um, so in my professional opinion, Gino's wins this battle. Okay, we're gonna try launch mode. Ready, three, two, one. Okay. Woo, okay, so zero to 60. It said 5.1 seconds. Shoot, that's slow. That's what I was thinking 5. too. 5.1 is like, so slow. It felt fast, like it felt tough, but it did take a second to get going. Mercedes is gonna get killed in the comments saying, that's incredibly slow. To be fair though, our range, we are below half battery range, so it's not an ideal time to launch. I did have it in sport mode though. There might be a different button for launch mode. So now the question is, can we make it back to New York City from Philly on the same amount of battery that we have. This is like a range test, real world range test. We had 378 miles range when we left and uh, it's about 90 miles. And right now we have 220 miles range to get back. So I definitely have driven a lot faster than what is an efficient driving range, but that's normal. It, same thing in my Teslas. I'll drive to Las Vegas, it's 100 miles from my house, and it basically takes like 170 miles range because I push it. I'm going 85, 90 miles an hour, and I've also been testing out sport mode and um, stepping on it. The thing that really separates this car from any, let's just say, any Tesla that I've ever been in 
is the seats. We have flown to Stuttgart, Germany before and cut open Mercedes-Benz S-Class seats, which this is like the S-Class of electric cars, the EQS. There's hot stone massage inside of here. There's air cooling inside of here. With just one push of the button, you can make it so the air is cooling your back. Tesla only did that for like six months for a few Model Xs. I love to have heated seats, but even more than that, I love to have air-cooled seats. It's really nice and refreshing on your back and your lower section to have some nice air blowing on there. It does have a glass roof in the front and in the back, and if you don't want it to be like that, you just touch this little section and just slide your finger and it'll go ahead and close that. I keep comparing it to Tesla because that's the latest car that I've driven that's electric that I own, and there is no cover for the glass option, and I've, sometimes I've wished that there was a cover for that. Another small thing that I'm making a comparison on. So this car has a feature where both of the front and the rear axle will help you turn, so when you're doing a U-turn, it doesn't need as much room. Check it out. It moves up to 10 degrees. Look at that. The back wheel is turning. Pretty good turning radius right there. There are multiple microphones inside of here. So if you're on Bluetooth calling somebody and talking to somebody, instead of just having the one microphone and somebody's in the passenger seat and they're like yelling, trying to talk to the person, it can equally pick up every single person in the car if that's what you would like. But also, people can wear different headphones and connect to the car's entertainment system and listen to different songs or watch different shows because yes, there are screens on the back of the driver and the passenger seat. They can just like watch their own shows by using Bluetooth headphones. It's luxurious, it's really luxurious. And I know I've heard it for years. I know Mercedes is a little late to the game if you wanna say it that way, about getting their electric car out there, their first electric car, their luxury car. I've been watching Mercedes for like four years and riding in their electric car prototypes and it's finally here. This car will be out in the United States this fall. In Europe, it's gonna be out in August. Like that's really soon. The pricing is not available yet. So I am curious to know how much it's gonna cost because in my estimation, this is gonna be an expensive car because it's so luxurious and it has the best from all of the things that Mercedes has to offer from like the last hundred years that they've made cars but it also has the future with the technology, with the battery tech. I didn't even get into the battery tech inside of this video. The gauntlet has been thrown down by Mercedes to say, hey, we're making electric cars and we wanna be not just here for the short term, but for the long term by coming out with our best that we have to offer right from the beginning the EQS. So yes, it may seem a little overhyped. I'm basically just telling you, this is my favorite electric car that I've ever driven. Just like Elon Musk has said all along, he wants to accelerate the movement to sustainable energy and to electric cars. And even he cheers on other manufacturers that are coming out with new cars. So Mercedes-Benz, good job. This car is great. We have like 30 or 40 minutes to get back to Manhattan and return this car. Otherwise they're going to, I don't know, call the police on me, something. This is like the only car they have. Let me just push the brake and let the door shut, just like every car should be. Auto manufacturers, do it like this. As of right now, we're gonna be eight minutes late, so we had to call in some favors. Right now, we have a police escort helping us through the Lincoln Tunnel. Hopefully, this will shave off the eight minutes because Mercedes really wants us to be there. minutes late that's not that late we have 88 miles range left that's pretty good we did well we went not just to Philly but we drove other places and stuff didn't have to charge the whole day I'd call that a success like every electric car that's the one thing that makes you afraid is range anxiety and I didn't really have that I really enjoyed the car other than a small scratch on the wheel we made it back and it's safe, which is, that's priority number one. When somebody gives you something so nice, yes, you wanna test it out, but you gotta return it nicely. What makes me feel a lot better is that they did tell me they have eight more rims here that are new, so whew, that's a little pressure off. I mean, potholes happen. Is that a hashtag, potholes happen? When you're in the big city, it probably should be New York, Philly. I think it's going to be a couple of days until the worldwide release of the exterior is out. So stay tuned for that from Mercedes-Benz. And one of your questions might be, would you switch from a Tesla Model S to the EQS? Well, obviously pricing, we need to find out what the pricing is. But my answer right now is absolutely. Like this car is the most luxurious car that I've ridden in, whether it's gas or electric, 
And again, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just giving you my opinion. This is a sweet car and hopefully it'll be something that'll be in my garage then someday. So will the dream become a reality? Maybe, we'll see. Stay tuned. All right, thanks for watching. Okay. I'm sorry. I would be not happy if I pulled up and there was a car parked blocking all of these superchargers. But look, there's only one Tesla here charging right now. I basically just wanted to get the thumbnail for the video. That's perfect. That's perfect. You hear that? I'm a good parker. Is that a word, parker? Isn't today a school day? What's happening here? Why is everybody home? We gotta walk off the cheesesteak. This is the way.